Hello and welcome back to drink number 60 of the week. I've got a glass with some red beads in it and some white beads in it. Did you hear about the two ships that crashed into each other? The one had pink paint in it and the other one had blue paint in it. Apparently all the sailors were marooned. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pour those into there like that. And I'm going to mix these up. See, see how well I can mix them up? Just like this. There we go. So we can see that's nicely mixed up there. So now the whole idea is if I can just get them back to the red and the whites like that. Ooh, that was just a quick throwing. Maybe you don't want me to chop and change it quickly, but I didn't think the trick was going to be that quick. You know, if the Mayans have taught us anything, is if you don't finish something, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> okay, glass and a ball, really simple. So I'm going to place the ball on top of the glass like that. All I do is I just cover that mark that it goes straight through. Cool, let's do another one. Uh, how many tricks have I done now? Do you know my short-term memory isn't as good as it used to be? Did I tell you that my short-term memory isn't as good as it used to be? Right, now this is a very dangerous trick. Even the rope is afraid. Fra no, no, okay. Tied them together. Three pieces of rope, three knots like that. Now what I'm going to do, really simple, I'm going to put the knots into my hand like this. And all you've got to do is follow the knots. It's really as simple as that. And all I do is I just snap my fingers like that, drop the rope open, and man, that's weird. I mean, I can't believe that. It's all like, it's just, it's become one rope. I don't know. These are just three quick tricks I thought I'd throw together for you for trick number 60. I'm going to see you again next week for 61. Until then, cheers.